be doing some reorganization and some decluttering. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my liquid lipstick kind of collection, but more importantly today is the day that I'm going to be letting go of so many, so many of my liquid lipsticks. Um, I love liquid lipsticks. They are my favorite kind of lipstick to wear. They're just so easy and if it's a good lipstick, it stays on. You don't have to reapply it. You can wear it with like your masks now and everything and there's no like smudging and stuff. I just really think they're easy and love them. I've been loving them for years. I know they were like super hot and popping like three or two years ago and some of these liquid lipsticks that I have have been from that time and they're pretty old. It's just time to get rid of them. So that's what we are gonna be doing today. Before we get started, if you guys are new around here, welcome. My name is Andrea. I typically do videos all about beauty, sometimes some fashion, and on occasion, the lifestyle post here and there. So if those are things that interest you, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell button so you are aware every single time I post a new video. We got a lot of liquid lipsticks to get through, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I am honestly embarrassed to show you guys this because it is such a hot mess in there. I did do a declutter on lipsticks a little bit ago um, and some lip glosses a little bit ago, but apparently I might need to do that next year because it's just a hot mess. So this is the drawer where I keep all of my liquid lipsticks, and as you're about to see, it is just packed to the brim. Back there we have concealers, those are actual lipsticks, but this whole pile here has just been overflowing that some of that stuff is probably in there. And then these are all lip glosses, but I already see some liquid lipsticks in there as well. So we are going to need to downsize this heavily. I really wanted to get into a manageable like where it's not overflowing at the top. We also have some of these liquid lipsticks in a box over there on my vanity. Okay, so let me just take this out so I can actually put all the liquid lipsticks there um, and then we can go through them. So I just took out the lip glosses, otherwise there's gonna be like no room and everything's just gonna keep over pouring. So let's just get started with these that are overflowing. What I have here is from ColourPop. This is Strip, and this is just a really nice like light beige kind of lipstick color. Last time you guys wanted to see swatches, so I'll show you swatch. It's a really beautiful kind of nudie color. This is not my favorite liquid lipstick formula. It's actually rather drying. And I have a different um, liquid lipstick in this color from Anastasia that's very, very similar in color. So I think this is the first one that's gonna go. Next over here, we have this one from Too Faced. This is the Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the shade Gingerbread Girl. This is actually a really beautiful, like, orangey red kind of color. It's like a deeper kind of red. I actually just got this last year um, and I really do like this color. This is a unique shade in my collection so I am gonna keep this. Next we have this one from Koki Cosmetics. This is the liquefied matte lipstick and this is in the shade Suede. It's like a light brown but it has a little bit more pink in it. This is a newer one that I received just a couple months ago in PR so I am gonna keep this. Next we have this one from Kat Von D. I think this is Lolita if I'm not mistaken or Bow and Arrow. Um, I love this liquid lipstick shade and formula and color so this one I'm keeping. I have another one of these Koki liquid lipsticks. This is Mad About Mauve. Um, this is actually more of like a deep coral pinkish color, I would say, than a mauve. Again, this is one that I got in a PR package. It's the same formula as the other Koki one. I've only had it for a couple of months, so I'm going to keep this one. So we have this one from Stila. This is the shade Ferenz, and this is the Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. This is a beautiful mauve kind of pinky formula. I really love this formula and this liquid lipstick shade. Unfortunately, this is one of the older ones that I have in my collection. I know I've had this for well over two years, so I'm going to let it go. <laughs> Next is this one from Pixie. This is the Berry Beauty Liquid Lipstick. I love this shade. It is a beautiful kind of like rose um, berry kind of tone. It's very, very pretty. This one I've had only since the summer because they did send it in a PR package, um, and I love the shade, so I'm going to keep it. Right up here we have this one from Sigma. This is in the shade Cor de Rosa. It's a really beautiful kind of like light pink formula. This one I also just got over the summer from a PR package that they sent. 
It's a beautiful shade, so I will be keeping this one as well. This next one is actually a mini liquid lipstick from Stila. This is in the shade Fieri. This is a really beautiful, like, bright red, like, hint of orange red. It's not really blue-based. I love this shade, and I know that this one I do get a lot of use out of, so I'm going to keep this one. Next up, we have this liquid lipstick from Farah, or F A. R A H. This one is the Matte Boss Liquid Lip Pigment. This is in the shade Coco. It's a really beautiful, like brown with just like a light hint of like orangey tone. It's really, really nice. And I actually got this just last month in a PR package from Ipsy. So I'm going to keep this one from Jeffree Star. This is Gemini. I love this shade. It's such a really pretty shade. Um, it's like a mauve kind of tone, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. It's like a nice mauve kind of tone. I love this shade. I do like the formula. Packaging is super cute, but this is an old liquid lipstick that I for sure have had for over two years now and it's gotta go. So next up we have another Too Faced one. This is the Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade Sellout. It's like a pinky kind of color. I actually got this in a gift set. I do like the shade, but, and I don't know if you guys just saw that. It like leaked on it and the formula is just so liquid. I don't know if this is just like a bad batch or if all of them are like that because the other one didn't do that. Um, and yeah, I don't get that much use out of it either, so I'm gonna let it go. This little one here is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the shade Dazed. It's a really beautiful berry tone. You guys know I love my berry tones. I get a lot of use out of this one as well. I really like it, so I'm gonna keep it. This is another Anastasia liquid lipstick. This is more of a true nude with just a hint of pink. This is in the shade Hudson. This is like my perfect nude. Um, it's not too light, but it's not too dark either. There's only a little bit left. I got so much use out of this one, so I'm going to keep it. So next we have this one from Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit. This is in the shade Give Me Mocha. It's a really nice shade. Um, they're okay liquid lipsticks for being drugstore. Um, nothing wrong with them, but I don't get use out of them, and they're rather old, so these are gonna go. So this next one is from Jordana. This is a Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Color. This is in the shade Cinnamon Toast. Another really good one for drugstore. This is a nice, kind of like deeper kind of tone. It's a little bit more just brown. I like it, um, but this is like an older formula, and as you can see, it's like kind of splotchy, so that one's gonna go. This is another one from Koki that I got over the summer. It's just a beautiful, like, blue-based red liquid lipstick. Um, I just got it over the summer, so I'm gonna keep it. Next, we have another Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade Gingerbread Man, and this is more of an orange shade. I don't have anything like this in my collection. Um, I did just get this... Um, Maybe a couple months ago. I really like this shade, so I'm gonna keep it. So next we have this one from Jouer. This is Noisette. Um, this is their liquid lipstick, and it's just like a brown kind of color. Um, yeah, this one is definitely gonna go. It is old, and um, the shade is not really that nice, and I don't really like the formula. This is another liquid lipstick from Farah or Farah. This is in the shade Farah. Um, really good formula. I like it. I just got this as well last month in a PR package, so I'm gonna keep it. So this one is from Kylie Cosmetics. This is the matte liquid lipstick in the shade Ginger. It's a really nice orangey kind of tone. It's like an orangey kind of nude. I really like this shade, and I get use out of it, so I will keep this one. So this one is from Beauty Creations. This is the shade Sweetheart. It's a nice, like, mauve kind of pink color. Um... I mean, it's coming out more coral here now that I look at it, but it looks mauve in the tube. There's nothing wrong with this formula, nothing wrong with the shade, but I really don't get use out of it, so it's time to let it go. I see another Jeffree Star liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Androgyny. It's a really beautiful mauve kind of color. Um, it has a little bit more berry tone than Gemini. I really like this shade. This is an old one, so it's gotta go. So this is another Wet n Wild um, Mega Last Catsuit Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Rebel Rose. It's a nice rose color. It needs a little bit more cool tone, and it's got a little bit more of like a grayish undertone. It's a really pretty color, actually, if you like like light rose colors there. 
um, but this is an old one and I don't get use out of it so this one is gonna go. More from Koki, I think this is the last one they sent. This is the Kissable Liquid Lipstick, this is in the shade Nirvana, it's a really nice nude. I just got it like maybe over the summer or two months ago so I'm gonna keep it. Next we have this one from Ofra Cosmetics, this is the Kathleen Lights Miami Fever Liquid Lipstick. You can see the real OG packaging, so that pretty much tells you how old this is. Have not used this in over like a year and a half, two years I think, so it's gonna go. So this is a mini liquid lipstick of the Kat Von D Lolita 2, a really nice light kind of brick color. You can see that it is leaking, um, so this one's gonna go. So this is another Kat Von D liquid lipstick. I really do like her formula. This is in the shade Mother. It's a little bit more pink. Um, than the other colors. I do like it and I do like the shade. Have not used it and it's rather old so it will go. I have these two Huda Beauty lipsticks. They are in the shade Bombshell and Trendsetter. I don't get much use out of them. Um, I did pick them up last year so I think I might hold on to them, see if I use them. This one is a little bit more of like a nudie orange. Well it looks more nude there I guess I should say but it does have a little bit more beige and this one is a little bit more like nudie with a hint of like orange on that one. So I might try them out. These are generally the shades I like to use. Um, I just haven't really used them that much. So I'll keep them. So next we have this Tarteiste, um, it doesn't even say the name on the bottom, liquid lipstick. Never used it. Um, so it's gonna go. So this is a small sample size of the Kat Von D Lolita 2. Since I threw the other one out, I'll keep this one. We have another Jouer liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Melon. It's a nice shade. It's like a pinky nude. I never use it though, so it's gonna go. So we have another one of the Jeffree Star Velour liquid lipsticks. This is in the shade Celebrity Skin. It's like a really light kind of nudie pink. I love the shade, but it's old, so it's gonna go. This is a liquid lipstick from Sigma. This is the shade Awaken. Um, this one I got just a couple months ago. It's a really pretty pink kind of color. It's just like a true pink. Um, I haven't used it much, but I just got it a little bit ago. I do like the shade, so I think I'll keep it and see if I use it. So this is another Kat Von D mini liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Bow and Arrow. I don't even remember when I got this. I never used it, so it's gonna go. But we have two of the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. This is Bow and Arrow, the full size, and then this is Vampira. Love both of the shades, but I have not used these shades in over a year, um, and I think they're rather old, so they're gonna go, because clearly I'm not gonna use them. This one is from Bare Minerals. This is the Boss Matte Liquid Lipstick. It's a nice shade. It's like a nude kind of color. Um, I like it, but it's not my favorite formula. I have other nudes I prefer. Have not used it in several months. Maybe even a year, so who knows how old it is. Um, so it's gonna go. Here we have another Sigma Matte Liquid Lipsticks. This is in the shade Fable. I really like this shade. It's like a lighter kind of red formula. Kind of like a berry tone. I really like this shade and I get a lot of use out of it. Um, and it's not that old. I've only had it for maybe like two or three months, I think. Um, so I'm gonna keep it. This big one, this is the Fenty Uncensored Liquid Lipstick. The shade of this, I don't get so much use out of it, but it's a beautiful red kind of color. I don't know, I might keep it for a little bit longer, see if I get use out of it, and if not, then get rid of it, but for now, I'll keep it. Next, we have this one from MAC. This is the shade Cafe Au Chic. I don't even know why I bought this, because this is not my color at all. It literally looks like some matte on my skin. So, this one's gonna go. This is another Anastasia liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Bittersweet. It's like a deeper kind of brown color. I like it, but I really don't get use out of it. So this one's gonna go. One more Sigma liquid lipstick. This is in the shade New Mood. And it's like a nudish kind of tone. I do like this shade, and this is fairly new to my collection as well. So I'll keep it. Another one of the Jouer liquid lipsticks. This is in the shade Terra. It's old, I don't like it, so it's gonna go. These are all from Stila. Um, they are Bossy, Patina, Caramello, and Bissell. Um, I really do like this formula, uh, but I think I'm only gonna keep Patina and Bissell. 
I don't really use these other shades, so no point to keep them. That's it for everything in this drawer. Like I said, we do have another little container on my vanity that has more liquid lipsticks. So let me just organize the ones here, and then we can do a final count before we move on to the other one. So this is the new liquid lipstick setup. You can see now that it's not over towering from the top. It's a lot more manageable for sure. Um, so I am happy with how many we are keeping and how many we are decluttering. Let's go look at the other Okay, side. so this is the other liquid lipstick container on the side of my vanity. You can see that it is stuffed with liquid lipsticks. I see first up in this first row just a bunch of dose of color liquid lipsticks. And I already know that all of these are going to have to go. So these are all liquid lipsticks from Dose of Colors. I actually really do love all of these liquid lipsticks. These are like my favorite liquid lipstick formula, but these are just so old. I got them from when I went to iMats in 2016, um, so it can't be good to hold on to all these. So sadly, these will all go. The other ones that we have on here, I actually got um, more recently, um, and I know I love all of these, though so I will keep these. And then these down here, these are all other liquid lipsticks I've gotten as well. These NYX ones I bought because they were very similar to the Kylie Cosmetics ones, but I really don't get use out of these at all, so these will go. This Kylie Cosmetics one is actually the first Kylie Cosmetics I ever bought. Um, it's really old, so it's just time to go. These are from the J.D. Wadey and Pure Cosmetics collection. So you can see I have not really used them that much. They are rather old as well, so these will go. So that's all we have left in this tray. These at the bottom, this is another one of uh, Dose of Colors. This is from the I Love Sarai collection. I actually love all those, so that one I'm keeping. Stasia Beverly Hills and Gerard Cosmetics and one Sephora. These Gerard Cosmetics all will go. Aside from the fact that these are older, um, Gerard Cosmetics is just like so problematic. I'm not about the drama, so that one will go. This liquid lipstick is from Sephora. I do like the formula, but this is an old one as well, so this one will also go. We have this Anastasia liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Stripped. I don't get much use out of this color, so it's gonna go. I have this liquid lipstick, which is in the shade Veronica. I really like it, but it's an older one, so that one will go as well. This one is from ColourPop. This is the shade Strip, but I don't really use this. This is not my favorite formula, so this one will go. I have this matte liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Beeper. I really love the shade. It's like a mauve -y kind of like deeper tone. I think it's such a pretty color, so I am gonna keep this one. This is another Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the shade Pure. It's really, really light. I don't know what I was thinking getting this one, so this one will go. And the last Anastasia liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Ashton. This is my favorite liquid lipstick that she makes. I love the shade. It's really unique. It's kind of like a mauve orangey kind of color, but it's also nude. I love it, so this one I'm also keeping. Let me reorganize stuff, and then we can do a final count of which ones are going. So these are all the ones that are going to be staying, and I actually just combined the stuff that was in the um, other drawer and here. So now they're all in here, and they all fit, which was the gold. Right, so these are all the lipsticks that will be going. All the ones back there and here. And I'm embarrassed to say even how many are going because this is very, very wasteful. Um, but mind you that this has been like in the works. I have not decluttered my lipsticks for like over three years. So this was not like one year of buying. This is like three years worth of liquid lipsticks. It's crazy. Like I said, I totally understand this is so wasteful and I wanted to do this video because I wanted to be more mindful of the liquid lipsticks I'm buying and makeup I'm buying because this is just not okay. But it feels so good to purge and get rid of all this stuff. Most of this stuff I'm sure has expired just because it's been sitting in my collection for years. Um, but this will definitely teach me to be more mindful of the things that I buy. All right, you guys, so that is it for today's video. Leave it down in the comments if you thought I had, one, that many liquid lipsticks, and two, if I was gonna let go of that many lipsticks, if that was shocking to you, if you kind of felt like, girl, 
it needed to be done. So let me know if you guys like these decluttering videos. I do have a couple that I can link down below for you guys that I did um, maybe a couple months ago or a year ago. I probably will continue to do decluttering. If there are any other video requests that you have in mind, please let me know and I would be happy to do them for you all. True Snapchat, Instagram, all this stuff is going to be left down below for you guys as well as coupon codes to help you save some money. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Stay safe and I will see you all in the next video.